are tens of thousands of people who are proud of their Cumin heritage in two regions in Hungary today. By the 13th century, the nomadic Turkic kingdom of Cumania was a renowned and powerful kingdom. And if you know about the history of this region, you know that it alternated between different nomadic steppe groups for hundreds and hundreds of years. The medieval text The Travels of Sir John Mandeville regarded Cumania as one of the great kingdoms of the world. And like so many nomadic warriors of the Eurasian steppe, geography and rivals to the east pushed them toward the direction of Hungary, the same as it had with the early Hungarian ancestors. A pivotal moment that I made a video about earlier was when King Laszlo I defeated the Cumans, ensuring Hungarians would be the last steppe peoples to complete this migration. After a period of tension and wars, both the Hungarians and the Cumans wound up with a common enemy, the Mongols. As their former foes, the Cumans, were getting ravaged by the Mongols, Bela IV offered refuge to Khan Kutin, the Cuman leader, if he converted his 40,000 families along with some nomadic Iranian Yasek people to Christianity. This infuriated the Mongol Batu Khan, who ordered Bela to stop, but Bela refused. A defense line of Hungarians and Cumans were set up around the Carpathian Mountains, but this quickly devolved into infighting. Hungarian nobility raised suspicion against the Hungarian allied Cumans when it was noted that there were Cuman conscripts among the Mongols themselves. Caving to internal pressure, Bela ordered the arrest of Khotin, and then after the failure of the first Mongol invasion, suspicious Hungarian barons conspired to have him assassinated in Pest. This led to a rampage of Cumans across Hungary, described as a sort of Mongol invasion part two. Realizing how desperately he needed the Cumans and how renegade his barons had become, Bela promised these former allies that if they returned, he'd grant them two regions that had been emptied by the Mongol attacks, Kishkunshag and Najkunshag. Here they would have special rights and autonomy. The Cumans accepted and historically played an important role in counterbalancing the strength of the Hungarian king against the Hungarian barons, and it's noted that King Bela spent more on gifts to the Cumans than he did any of his other lords. Bela's son Istvan V even took a Cuman wife, who may or may not have been Kutin's daughter, Elizabeth the Cuman, a marriage that was condemned by the Pope. Her son, Laszlo IV, known as Laszlo the Cuman, was famous for abandoning Hungarian customs and fashioning his clothing and hair as a Cuman, traveling with the Cuman entourage and Cuman concubines. There was one final Cuman uprising that Laszlo ultimately put down, but the Cumans, along with the Iranian Yasek people that they came with, played an important part in Hungarian culture going forward, even influencing Hungarian fashion. Istvan Mandaki Kongor took expeditions to the Asian part of the USSR in the 1980s and launched a modern revival in Cuman heritage. Across Kishkunshag, you'll see statues of Shandor Petofi, the handsome poet who sparked the 1848 revolution, as a son of Cumania. And you can find museums and memorials about Cuman history across these two regions today.